Uh, this is just a quick video to show you uh, uh, the Commodore 64 loading from the PSP. Here's the PSP. See? That says Bounty Bob. See? I've got all different games on the PSP here. You've probably seen a video like this before, but this is slightly different. Yeah, pick Grosel Revenge because the wire doesn't actually, it's not actually, the, this is empty, you see. It hasn't got a tape adapter connected to it. It's got a wire that goes into it. You see? Uh, it loads, takes the actual sound from this into the actual tape player. Data recorder, anyway. Yeah, it's running it at the moment, but I'll show you. Switch it off. Put it back on again. There we go. Yep, run, stop. Let's play. Let's play. There we go. Let's wait. Quickly, you've got to pause it because it doesn't pause by itself. So, it's a quickly pause it, you see. Pause now, see? Now, press play. There you go, it's come up. Just to show there's proof it can be done. It loads every game, so I'm quite chuffed with it. In the next video I'll show you the actual board, how I soldered it on. There is a website out there showing you how to do it. Right. Pause it for a minute. Oh, look at that. Magically, it's done. There you go. Grog's Revenge, one of the best games on the Commodore 64. Ha ha ha. Don't you think, Homer? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs>
a phono connector into the cassette deck cassette data recorder whatever you call it anyway anyway have a nice day catch you later bye bye now